Hello everyone, it's Amy, and welcome back for my March page in the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Challenge. So, I didn't really get hardly anything done this week, and I thought about, like, not even coming and showing you, because there really isn't much to see, but then I thought, you know, maybe a lot of you didn't get, get a whole lot done, and you're thinking, oh, I didn't hardly get anything done, and everybody else did. I'm just here to show you I didn't, and... And it's okay, because it's supposed to be, slow stitching is supposed to be enjoyable. So enjoy yourself. Do it when you can. It's been hectic around here, and I haven't had a lot of chance to sit down and do it. Um, you know, I had a few days last week that I did not feel well, and doing this was the furthest thing from my mind. And I did not outline my butterfly. I just drew it on my um, muslin with a pencil, and I thought, oh, I should go, like, outline it before I showed it to you today so that you could actually see the outline of the butterfly. But I specifically have not outlined it because I want to do that last because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I was going to, like, draw patterns out and everything, and I just thought, oh, heck with it. I'm just going to start putting stuff on there, and when I feel like it's done, then it will be done. So I didn't draw out, a, you know, like what I was going to put on there. I just did what I felt like doing. But I kind of figured if I did my outline, then as I'm trying to work in here, you know, my needle might keep getting stuck in that and everything. So I want to do that last because then I don't think it will be in my way. So don't push yourself to do more than what you really feel like doing. Just enjoy the project. So what I did... Um, was I I think this is the lazy daisy stitch I'm not sure I get them mixed up but I did it in like longer pink ones and then I went in between them and did some shorter orange ones and so I did one on each side and then for the body I did this is a weaving stitch and um Actually, when you do it for the flowers, you do it this way. So this is like the base of the flower, and that's the top. But I thought it would make a good butterfly body, so I just did it this way, um, you know, on my thing upside down, so that when I turned it over, I would have, like, the bottom of the butterfly and the head of the butterfly. I might even do some little, like, um, like a little trail coming down from here with maybe some French knots or something like that. I am going to put... A French knot in the middle of these and I thought maybe like a, a one of those messy French knots they're really kind of pretty and then this one is a weaving you just put one stitch here and one stitch here that's all you do two stitches right across from each other and then you just take your yarn or you know whatever you're using and you just go under this stitch and under this stitch and you just keep going and going and going until you fill up those stitches you want them to be the same size and then you wind up with this um, circle and it has kind of like a hole in the middle you know because you're just going around and around from stitch to stitch so I went ahead and I put a bullion stitch in the middle there and kind of made it a little extra long so it would pop up a little bit so I did that on both sides and I was happy with the way that that turned out and I've I'm doing kind of bright colors that's what I was in the mood for when I was doing that part and um and I think I'm going to outline in like black and gray. I think I'm going to outline just with a straight stitch and then do the, oh, the like the, where you just go through the stitches. I don't think that's weaving. I forget what it's called, but you just like go from under one stitch and then under the next all the way around. So um, that's how I think I'm going to do my outline, but I'm not going to do that until I get all of this done first. And then I think what I want to do is um, I'm going to cut it out a little bigger than my butterfly when I'm all done and then maybe either fold it under or maybe even just leave it out there and just if I fold it under I'll um, couch it down um, over like the uh, outline that I did um, or otherwise maybe I'll just leave it a little bit wider and leave it straight out and maybe puff it up underneath with some batting or something and then just do a straight stitch all the way around so there's a little bit sticking out and then this part will be puffy so I haven't decided yet you know I'll just kind of figure that out when I go there and because to me this project has really been a nice one to just kind of wing it it just I kind of each time I try and think I'm going to plan it out 
I always change it. And part of the change is I get a little bit lazy or something and think, okay, I just want to do this because it's easier. Just like I didn't feel like drawing it out, so I didn't. And I don't even know what I'm going to put in here. I'll figure it out when the time comes. So, but, um, yeah, so and that's going to go on there just about like that. So I hope that if you're doing this that you're enjoying it. We have an extra week this month, so that gives us extra time. And if we don't get them done, so we get them done next month along with next month's or maybe in place of next month's, just whatever we feel like. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.